What's up everyone? This is going to be about the Elgato Analog Video Capture Device. This is the device and it has a red, yellow, white, and S-Video inputs. This is an analog capture device and this video is going to teach you how to use this device to record and stream with open broadcaster software. Now you may be asking why an analog video capture device when there's the Elgato Game Capture and there's other HDMI based streaming cards. First of all, because this is an analog device, this allows you to use it with, with older game consoles that use the red, yellow, and white output. Also, if you're using this in a church situation, you can hook this up to analog cameras, which your church may have laying around. And you can use it with an analog video switching system. Um, and so if you have multiple cameras, um, you can use it with this card, and I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is an officially unsupported method of doing this. The reason why I'm making this video is to show you how you can do it because there's no other tutorials in YouTube, at least right now, that show you how to do this. And second of all, the driver for the Elgato video capture does not work with OBS. So you may be thinking, how in the world is this going to work? Let me show you. Right now I'm sharing my screen with you and I have open broadcaster software loaded. I've also gone onto the website and downloaded both the Elgato video capture tool and the video capture driver. I've installed the driver and rebooted my computer. So I have the program installed and I also have the driver loaded. Open Broadcaster software cannot load an Elgato analog video capture device as an input device. This is what happens if you try. Right now I'm going to remove the Elgato video capture. I'm going to re try to re-add it. Elgato, create new. I'm going to choose the Elgato Video Capture. It does pop up as an option here, but it does not work. So, capture video, it's NTSC, all that looks right. Um, all that looks right. The resolution, I'm going to make it 720 by 480, which is the resolution that you would capture on a DVD. And the frames per second, I'm going to make NTSC. And what do you get? Absolutely nothing. All you get is a black screen. So I'm going to teach you a workaround on how to make this device work with OBS. The first thing you have to do is you need to open up your Elgato video capture software from your desktop. So you have the software installed. And I'm going to open it up here. Now, I have currently hooked up an old camera to the Elgato's analog input camera. And I've got it on a tripod but uh, it's just an old Sony TV camera and I've got the output of the mixing board with my um, Shure SM7B microphone connected to the analog input so we have this capture device is hooked up to a TV camera and a soundboard with a Shure SM7B microphone. This method assumes that you also are going to be using two monitors in this setup Two monitors is definitely the recommended configuration for this setup. You can do it with one monitor, but it makes things much harder. I don't, you don't really need to do anything at this screen. We can just click continue. I've got my composite RCA connected, and right now you're actually seeing a video feed from the camera. And if I pan my camera down, you can see the room, you can see the couch, you can see the lamp. So this is a 4x3 picture. It's a 4x3 camera. And I'm showing you the room here. The camera definitely is working. Now I'm going to turn on my soundboard and I'm going to be talking to you through the microphone that's attached to my soundboard. Alright, All right, so, so now, now you're actually hearing me through, through this, this microphone. microphone. Let, let me turn, turn this camera, camera over. Okay, okay, so at this, this point, point you can, can see that through the Elgato, it's picking up the microphone, and it's actually playing, playing it back through the speakers, and it's, it's also picking up the camera feed from my analog video camera. camera. So, so here's, here's the trick. trick. What, what you're going to want to do is, on your second screen, you're going to want to move, move this Elgato video capture window, window to your second screen. screen. Like this. this. Okay, okay, so now, now you see that I have on this screen, I, I have, now that you can see I have on the second screen, I have my Elgato video capture device. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to set our canvas a little less to match the aspect ratio of this analog camera, which is 4 by 3. So to do that, let me show you what to do. Here's my instance of OBS. As you can see right now, you can see my picture coming through on the video capture with the Elgato, but you do not see it in OBS. So I'm going to remove this capture device. So another, so another thing we see happening is that this, the desktop audio is actually picking up the microphone. Because the Elgato video capture is monitoring, monitoring the audio, you're actually hearing it coming through on the desktop audio. That's good because we're going to want to record that. So what, what we need to do here, we need to set our canvas to the right size. So we're going to go to settings, video, and my canvas right now is set to 12 by 720. You can do this if you want to capture a 4x3 window within a 16 by 9 frame. In this case, right now, I'm just going to set this to 640 by 480. Then I'm going to hit apply. So now you can see that my canvas has changed to a 4x3 window. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the Elgato, but instead of adding it as a video capture device, I'm going to add it as a display capture. So what, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a display capture, and I'm going to select the screen that I have this on, which in this case is going to be, uh, it's going to be primary monitor. Right now it says that my display resolution is 1366 by 768, and that's all right. So, so as, as you can see, because I've made, made the, the canvas uh, so small, small now, now my screen, screen capture is not fitting in that window. window. But that's, that's all right. right. I'm just going to resize it to fit. fit. So, as you can see, now I have the Elgato video capture in this window over here. And in my other screen, I have my open broadcaster window. So I'm moving it off screen. But what I'm going to show you is you're going to want to make this window full screen by double clicking it. So when you double click it, uh, you're going to have your video capture is going to be full screen in this monitor. So let me drag this back over so you can see it. The next thing you're going to want to do is resize your picture to fit. All right, now here you have a window capture. All right, there you go. So now at this point, you're watching the Elgato video capture. You're capturing a display, and you're viewing the full screen video of your analog video capture. Now you can see that you can easily capture an OBS with the Elgato video capture device for Windows. At this point, all you have to do is set up your stream key and set up your recording settings and start streaming, and it will work. Let me switch back over so you can see my OBS settings. So at this point, I have display capture as my primary device. You can see how I've cropped the video. As you can see, the desktop audio is picking up the Elgato analog video capture device. You'll also want to make sure that you mute any desktop sounds that might play from your computer and interrupt the audio that you're capturing from the Elgato analog capture card. And there you go. That's how you do it. All right, for this clip at the end of the video is designed to show you what it would look like if you go ahead and set your canvas resolution to your screen size, in my case is 1366 by 768. It's a widescreen monitor. And what I'm doing now is I'm just capturing my screen at the full canvas resolution, and I've double clicked the Elgato capture software to make it full screen. Now you can see that the video is full screen in four by three aspect ratio, and the recorded video is actually gonna be in an HD format. This video you can drop into a 1920 by 1080 timeline 
or you can go ahead and set your monitor to 1280 by 720 and do a 1280 by 720p stream or even a 1920 by 1080p stream. Thank you so much for watching.